Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me. We as a family sold literally everything we owned three and a half years ago, our house, our cars, our companies, and we went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you some really cool charts I have never shown you before. I'm going to show you the correlation between the market cap and the Bitcoin price and how high we would go in Bitcoin price if we would reach the all-time high market cap we saw in 2017. We are going to talk about the Ethereum fees. We are going to talk about the DeFi industry. We are going to talk about the decentralized exchanges. We are also going to talk about BitMEX now we crest in KYC and what this means for the crypto industry. I wish you a lot of fun with watching today's video. Yes, I agree. Yesterday's video was very long. It was 30 minutes, so I will make a short one today. So no chit-chatting today, directly into the charts. Let's start with this chart. Bam! This chart was yesterday posted by Scott Melker, also known as the Wolf of All Streets. He posted a four hour chart where you can see this blue line coming down and he was stating like, we just broke this blue line so we are going up. And yes, we went up to 11,700 US dollar, which is the level we are hovering around now at this beautiful morning here in Spain, Alicante. The next level we need to break is 11,850 US dollar. This is the biggest resistance at the moment. If we break 11,850 US dollar, we will face the 12K level and after that the 12.2K level. But all looking positive in my opinion. So let's try to attack this 12K level and break it all the way up to 12.2 and break that level and then take it to 13K, 14K, 16K, 18k what the fuck just bring it to a new all-time high as soon as possible and on the other side guys we see a support around 11,500 us dollar around the 100 as a may on the hourly chart i think it's 11,500 11,600 around that level we have a huge amount of support so if we might drop down we will probably find the support around 11,500 and go up again to test 12k again like I said in my previous videos in Thailand, we will keep knocking this 12K door now, just like we knocked the 10.5K door. We kept knocking that door, knocking, 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 till we broke the door and we ran in with all our friends and now this level was broken and now we have this door closed again and that door became support so every time we fall down we would fall down to this door around 10,500 now we are knocking on the 12k door and we will keep annoying those people behind that door and we will keep knocking this door and, and in the end we will crash the 12k door as well and we gather our friends and run through the door and then we will close that door again so that the 12k level will be become support in the future. If we take a look at this chart made by Lisa, bam, this colorful chart again, you can see that she is predicting two scenarios. One scenario is the blue line, one scenario is the brown line. If we would follow the blue line scenario, we would now be finishing the C wave and then we would go into the one, two, three, four, five waves all the way up to 13K. So that would be one scenario. So you can see what we would do now. We would come a little bit down again, go up to the 12K, go a little bit down and then go up to all the way to 13K. That is one scenario. The other scenario is the brown line. And there you can see we are finishing the CDE pattern. Um, if we would follow the CDE pattern, then 
the level of D, so going up to D, would be around 12,200. There we will see a rejection and come down to E, which then again will be around 11,500. Just like I said a minute ago, we would fall back then to the support level of 11,500 US dollar. Both scenarios fine with me as long that we keep above these beautiful levels of 11,000, 11,500 dollars, I am still bullish and positive that we will see very nice prices in the next coming weeks. Just like Kraken yesterday said, and I said in my video, we could see a price going up with 200% if it is up to some indicators in the market. But let's zoom out into the charts. Let's take another chart. This one was created by Parabolic Tees. This one is also tweeted. This one, bam. On this chart, this is a monthly chart. Yeah, we are slowly zooming out again into these charts. On this chart, you can see that we see this resistance in the future of 13,200, of 14,500, of 17,100, and then 19,500 is the last resistance we need to break to create this new all time high of 20K or 21K. And then the bull run really gets started then we are going to go another five times to 100k or maybe even 10 times to 200k so a lot of fun time ahead guys a lot of fun time ahead like you can see on the chart in this small blue line you can see that these candles have formed a trend line from march till august you can see the trend line is pretty steep if we would continue to follow this trend line and for example create another candle as big as the july candle we would be around 14k already at the end of this month. If we would create two of these candles like we had in July, we could already be at between 16 and 18k in the end of next month. This is how fast it can go in Bitcoin. If you zoom out to the charts, you can see we did these kind of candles many more times in the past. And then we have another beautiful chart. Do you remember I was talking yesterday about the total market cap and that the last that the total market cap at the last time all time high was around 800 billion US dollar and that we had a lot of resistance lines in this market cap. We are now facing the 350 billion dollar resistance line and then we would take it up to the 420 billion dollar and then we would up take it up even to the 600 billion dollar 800 billion dollar and at the end we would even reach 1100 billion dollar market cap so lisa saw that i was talking about it and created this beautiful chart today she tweeted it just this one bam beautiful chart lisa thank you for supporting it because now i can tell you that if we look at how high the last all-time high price was let's take 20k because the price was different on different exchanges an average 20k and then we compare it with the all-time high total market cap that was 800 billion and we compare it to the current situation where we have a market cap of around 350 billion so less than the health of the last all-time high market cap but our price is already more than the health of the last all-time high, 20K. We are now around 12K. So the market cap is less than the health. It's less than 400 billion because we had an 800 billion market cap at the top. We have now 300, not even 350 billion, so less than the health. But the price is already higher than the health of the last all-time high. So this would mean if we would reach the same 800 billion US dollar market cap and the price would increase the same way it's increasing now, we would see a Bitcoin price around 26,000 US dollar. If we could reach the total all time high market cap of 800 billion US dollar, we would see a Bitcoin price around 26,000 US dollar. Yes, it is not easy to uh, understand this chart. So take another look at the chart. You can see that she is comparing the market cap and the Bitcoin price. You can see this beautiful swing. You can see the swing in the price as well. And then when she combines these, and then you do the calculation of the total market cap and the price in 2018 in the all time high, and you compare it with the current situation and you do your calculations, you can see how we came to the price of 26,000 US dollar if we would reach this 800 billion US dollar market cap. Can you imagine how high the price would be if we would reach 
the 1100 billion dollar market cap that is the next that is our next question lisa yes how high would the bitcoin price be if we would reach an 1100 billion us dollar market cap is it even possible to reach these kinds of market caps did 1100 billion us dollar that's a lot of money that needs to enter the market yes and i'm going to explain to you why this is possible for example one reason is that now four of the five south korean banks yes again south korea it's booming over there but four of the five south korean banks are going to offer crypto services now so again they are going to offer people of their bank so they are going to so they are going to offer their clients to buy bitcoins now using the bank and that they hold their bitcoins at the bank so let's let's make it a little bit easy you have this banking app you all have an app on your telephone where you have your bank account and in this banking app now you will get the button where you can say buy bitcoins and then you buy the bitcoins at your bank and then the bank huddles them for you so this is a custodial service this will make it very easy for people that don't trust the crypto space completely yet to start to trust this crypto space because now their bank is offering a service to buy bitcoins and to huddle the bitcoins for them so now with the push of a button your grandma can buy bitcoins at her bank and then these four banks in korea for example they have a combined value of 1.2 trillion us dollar 1.2 trillion us dollar only four banks in the world have this combined value so if they start to offer their clients to buy bitcoin that's a lot of money that can enter the market and then we are only talking about south korea also the german banks applied 40 german banks applied for the same license to now offer these custodial services you could see that in the united states now the banks want to offer these custodial services we will see all banks all over the world starting to offer these crypto services to their clients buying bitcoins selling bitcoins holding bitcoins at a bank and if all banks all over the world are going to provide their clients with these crypto services more and more money will flow into the market more and more easy it will become to reach an 800 billion market or even in the 1100 billion market because we already reached an 800 billion us dollar market cap without the bank's support even worse they were fighting completely against it so at the moment we reach 800 billion us dollar you need to understand that all government and all banks were only creating negative media bitcoin is a scam bitcoin is multi-level marketing we are never going to accept bitcoin jp morgan stated if one of my employees will touch bitcoin he will lose his job and with all these factors we reach 800 billion can you imagine now that if the banks start to play this game how easy it is now to reach 800 billion again with the support of all those trillions that are now stored in bank accounts easy peasy this is one of the reasons why i think this whole DeFi industry all the staking possibilities is going to take this market cap to new highs we can't even believe at the moment we will in a few years times we will look behind to an 800 billion market cap like a small bump in the charts we will be here then and this small bump then would be the 800 billion market cap we try to break so this is one of the reasons why i think the crypto market cap can easily grow in the next couple of months years the DeFi industry is booming guys because look at this chart bam on this chart you can see that already 5 billion us dollar is locked into this DeFi industry 5 billion us dollar so we went from 1 billion us dollar to 4.5 us dollar just in this short period of time you can check the chart it's all on the charts beautiful it's growing 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 and i think it will grow even more the more old money will go into this industry the more these people these baby boomers these generation x people will start to trust bitcoin and start to exchange their store of values in fiat at their bank accounts where they need to pay negative interest 
into crypto where they can reach a positive interest of 4 to 16 percent when they stake when this money is flowing into the market as well guys we will see an even bigger bigger market cap in the DeFi industry and we can see the same in all these decentralized exchanges DEX, we call them built on the ethereum blockchain because the market has grown tremendously i think i saw 420 million being transacted on decentralized exchanges just in one day let me be clear 2019 the total the total amount of value transacted on decentralized exchanges was about 3 billion us dollar that was for the whole year of 2019 now in 2020 we can see a 13.5 billion us dollar amount that is being transacted on these decentralized exchange year to day so from january till now already 13.5 billion us dollar has been transacted on these decentralized exchange this against the 3 billion US dollar in the whole year of 2019 and then in this year only 1 billion US dollar was already exchanged on Uniswap that's an insane growth of decentralized exchanges I love this because on these decentralized exchanges you don't need to KYC and all that stuff and I think one of the goals of cryptocurrency was not doing all that KYC and stuff it was meant to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash where you are completely private in all the transactions you do so I think this decentralized exchange industry is, to, is going to grow even more when people will start to understand this. Because you need to realize that we now even saw the news yesterday that BitMEX, so one of the biggest exchanges around, now is going to require KYC. They will require KYC from the 28th of August. So BitMEX gained all their popularity and growth just by doing no KYC and now they have all their clients and now they are going to do KYC. So everybody on BitMEX now needs to verify himself. So this is why I would advise you guys now to change to Bybit because Bybit has a huge liquidity as well. It has a very good customer support and most important, it doesn't have KYC and a very cool thing at the moment is that they have a really cool trading competition where the price pool has grown to 100 BTC at the moment. So just by going to Bybit now, you can enter also this really cool trading competition where you can win 100 bitcoins and you don't need to verify yourself you don't have the kyc regulations at bybit and when you use my affiliate link to sign up to bybit you get a 90 dollar bonus yes 90 dollar bonus by using my affiliate link down below this video just click it sign up so you have your 90 dollar bonus so you have a bybit account so you can start to trade cryptocurrency without kyc at a very cool company that has an amazing support etc because yes in my opinion we should be free to use cryptocurrencies without kyc just like we are free to use our physical cash without kyc I don't like the fact that now all these scam ads are up front of my videos because even my people are now like Didi why do you allow these scam ads I am not allowing these scam ads I am allowing ads and if I allow ads YouTube is deciding which ads they put up front of my videos I cannot choose them I cannot handpick them so please just don't believe them also don't believe all these comments below my videos that promise you that they know a friend who is the best trader who is going to give you tremendous return on investment blah 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 these guys are all scammers i just don't have the time to delete all of these comments because i'm handling this youtube channel all by myself what i get hundreds of these comments it's just too much work guys because i need to do some other stuff in life as well and this vlogging this editing this publishing of the videos already takes me hours a day so there is just not time for me to delete all these comments maybe you could just click them and report them as scam and then they will uh, automatically be deleted in the future all these people offering you these services in my comments are scammers
And then one more other question to you guys. We can see the fees in Ethereum rising tremendously now. Does this mean that the Ethereum blockchain is not equipped to handle all this DeFi industry? And if this means that Ethereum is not big enough and it will take some more time till Ethereum 2.0 will come out, come out, will there be another Ethereum killing blockchain around the corner that wants to dethrone Ethereum? I would love to know from you guys, I would love to hear from you guys which alternatives there are to Ethereum that you think have a very bright future that you think that could dethrone Ethereum as the blockchain to build your dApps on. Let me know in the comments because I would love to hear your opinion about this. That was the video for today's guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Please, if you did, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified on every new video I make. And if you're up to it, please leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. I wish you an amazing day and I want to remind you to always zoom out in crypto and zoom in at life and try to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living. Enjoy your day and see you tomorrow again. Bye!